There's a certain motto that we almost live by, and that is chill, do your work, and wait for a reason to even move slightly out of your own way. Because we are forever. What we have in front of us, what we see with our own two eyes is forever. So why would we not focus on ourselves, do our work, make sure that we are good instead of putting the focus on everything else outside of yourself. At the end of the day, how we carry ourselves, how we take care of ourselves, is going to be the direct reflection of other things that come in. So if we make other people the focus, if we make other things the focus, and it's not on ourselves, like doing things that we know we should do, then it's going to end with a very bad result, possibly even fatal. Because that's how bad some people can get. They can run into a very bad situation and it can end fatally. But if you focus on yourself and you do the work and you're being the person that you know you have to be, things will almost always turn out. But things will almost always not turn out if you don't do that work. And you think it's all right to make people the focus or substances the focus or fun the focus. It's not the focus. You have to make sure you're good. You have to make sure you're healthy. You have to make sure you're aligned. And in today's economy, bro, like, being alone might be the solution for many, many people, majority of people, because those that are around are usually not good for, for, for us. They're usually not. And that's why I'm saying you should focus on being alone. You should focus on being good first by being alone. There's some people that's kind of, they're kind of focused, they're, they're kind of, you know, a little focused, but they make a bit of progress, but they have a few bad friends around and they're bad. They're not good. So what do you guys think that is going to do? What do you think? I've been there and I was a lot younger than I am now and I'm still fairly young, but I'm wise. Because once mistakes happen, those mistakes are not going to continue to happen, my friends, not with me. So I've made the mistakes young, late teens, early twenties, corrected them. There's people older than I am, continuously making the same mistakes. They don't want to grow past a certain level because it's scary. To them, it's scary. And um, that's the mistake. They're, they're afraid of becoming a little bit better because now people are not going to like them. They're going to lose all their friends, but that is something you guys cannot fear, which is why I'm making this video and I'm making it make sense. This is why being alone for majority of people today is pretty much the solution. It's the right answer. It doesn't have to be forever, but we almost go through those times by ourselves, bro. So we can be right. It's not going to do you no good being around toxic people. It's not going to do for call. It's going to hold you back. It's 
It's going to keep you from growing. It's going to keep your mind stuck. It's going to ruin you. It's going to ruin your ambition. It's going to ruin your outlook on life. It's going to ruin your outlook on people. It's going to do a lot. So this is what it all comes down to. I only conversate with people that I want to and other than that, bro, I'd be, lo I'd be overlooking a lot of people. And it's because I already know that it's just not worth my time. And you guys know as well as I know that majority of people we come across today is not worth our time. It's not worth the energy. It's not worth the hassle. So there's a lot of sketchy stuff going on in this economy. A lot of hate, a lot of fake friends, a lot of backstabbing, a whole lot of ridiculous stuff that I don't want to be a part of. I've seen it young. I've been through it young. And um, I'm done with it. I've been done with it, bro. I like things to be healthy. I like to grow closer and closer and closer to the people that I'm already close with. And it's healthy. There's not sketchy things going on. Like it's, it's growth. It's abundance. It's prosperity. It's an abundant relationship with the person you're with. It's, having abundant friends where y'all's happy for each other. Y'all's happy for each other's growth. Y'all's encouraging and y'all's not kissing each other's feet. It's the littlest things that goes along this way. All you got to do is be a good human being and be encouraging and, and uplifting and be happy for somebody else's success. But in today's economy, it's rare. In today's economy, people want you to ruin yourself and it's because most people are ruining themselves. They don't want you to do better. They don't want you to be healthy. They don't want you to be sane. So you're almost looked at as if you're weird, if like you're on the right path. It's almost normalized to have your life just a complete mess. Make a, make a mess of yourself. Go out all the time. Make a mess of yourself. Make a fool of yourself. It's diabolical. It's sad to see that this world has come to this. And now I must drink out of my genie bottle. It's one big ass water jug, but it's not a jug, I guess it's a bottle, but this is my new beauty. Holds 1.5 liters. I go through a ton of water, so I need a big bottle. Stainless steel. I'm done drinking out of plastic. Gross. But yeah. Being mindful today is a must. We must not. Do things too quick. Make somebody a close friend too quick. Make somebody your girlfriend or your boyfriend too quick. Things need to take its time. Things need to marinate. You need to see what you're dealing with before you get completely blindsided and manipulated by this chaotic world. And don't even feel like it's human beings anymore, bro that you cannot connect with on a spiritual level. Like y'all spirits are just connected. It just feels like people's just against you. Like they just wanna, people's just looking at you some kind of way. Like it's like, man, chill the fuck out. Why does it gotta be this way? Why can't we just be chill with each other? Why have we got a mean mug and act tough and all that stuff? If you wanna act tough, let's go to the mats. Let's wrestle. Let's have a little scrap. 
but people just want to act that way. There's so much tension in people today. There's so much anger in people today. And I get it. Like you can go through things in life and end up that way, but it's up to you to heal. It's up to you to go through the stuff the right way. So you can heal. So you're not that type of person. Whenever bad things happened to me in the past, I didn't deflect how I felt onto everybody else. I kept it to myself. I did my work. I healed my wounds and I just kept going and going and going. And I did that by my damn self. And this is a video we're making this evening. You have to do these things by yourself. You have to live some life by yourself because having others around man, when you don't even know who you are, you're just going to not know who you are for longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. You're not, you're never going to know because you're never spending that quality time with yourself to learn about yourself, to grow yourself, to heal yourself. There's so much work that so many people have to do and they're just not doing it. Like, I know how a lot of people be moving today and it's just insane. I don't even understand how they're still alive. Because if I had to deal with what, with what they're dealing with mentally, I'd be in a psych ward. Like, and the reason they're not is because they're putting all their problems on the back shelf. They continue to numb themselves every day of life. They're completely numb. They're drugged up, boozed up, smoking cigarettes, culping, culping hard. And if they were to ever live normally and cut all the BS, they would be in a psych ward because they couldn't handle real life if their lives depended on it. That is the last place you guys want to be. That is the last type of stuff that y'all want to be doing to one another, to each other, to yourselves. We have to be, and it's the hardest thing to do, is to be real with yourself. That's what I was able to do at a young age. Because I got myself doing things that everybody else was doing, and I was very young. And, um, when I noticed it was taking an effect, I can, I, I don't want to feel that way. I started to lose myself, not completely, but I just a little bit. And it's like, I just, this isn't who I am. This isn't what I want. I know who I am and that's what I'm going to be. Exactly that. I'm not going to let people mess up my head. I'm not going to go down this treacherous path to nowhere. I ain't going to let it happen. I'm going to become exactly who I know I am and I'm going to show everybody that. That was my mindset. It's what I did. Didn't look back. To this day, did not look back. I don't care how people feel about me because I ain't doing nothing to nobody else. And a lot of people is going to be upset that you decided to be the best that you can be, but let them be. They're only mad because they're bad. Mad because bad. Mad because you can't do life the way I can do life. And we're not even saying this to brag. We're just exposing how they are, how they feel. And that's why they feel the way they feel. It is because we were able to do the hard work. We were able to... do what was right for a lot longer and stay on that path, stay on our mission, stay focused, stay driven, stay dedicated while everybody else fell down, while everybody else who said they would never drink, they would never try a drug, got into that same shit and fell. You on the other hand, no. You did not succumb to those low levels. You have risen above it by yourself because there's going to be nobody else to do that with. 
because most of the world today, bro, is high on something. Something that ain't high on life. They're high on something different. I'm high on life. They're high on something completely different. And being high on life, in my opinion, is the definition of having God in your life. They don't. They're numbed up on substances. They have toxic friends. They have toxic people around. They are codependent. They are needy. They cannot take care of themselves. And this is what we all must do. We all must take care of ourselves so we can live the best life we can possibly live. It's what we must do. And what is the solution to this, guys? Once again, spending a very solid amount of time being alone. Because now, you're good everywhere. There's nowhere where you lack. You can do it all. You can protect. You can provide. You have a good head on your shoulders. You're not a cheater. You can lead. You can do it all. You're a solid human being. You're going to end up attracting somebody else who is solid and you're going to reject everything else that is not. And you know your worth, brothers and sisters. You know your worth. You know it. And if you really know your worth, you'll have no problem going through life by yourself for a chapter And the only thing that's bad is not doing it. It's not bad to do it. The only damn thing that is bad is never doing that. Because if you just think you're going to stay codependent and you need people around, you need friends, you need this, you need that, it's going to end terribly bad. Terribly. And those are people who hate their own self. They hate their own life. And you cannot be around them, bro. You can't. They will drain your energy like you wouldn't fucking believe, man. It's like they can't focus on themselves. They can't. We need people who's also all right with being by themselves, knowing how to take care of themselves. Not being dependent on you and looking at you and wanting things from you and all this stuff. You cannot have that in your life. You cannot. People have to be able to fend for themselves. People have to know how to take care of themselves at the end of the day. Because if you end up with having friends or anything like this, bro, that they always need you, they always need you, they always need you, but they're not there for you. They don't even care about you. They don't ever ask about you. They don't ask if you're doing all right. They don't care. And it's because they're very far gone off. They're not even present for themselves, guys. They aren't. How could they be present for you? How? This is my exact point. How could they be present for you when they are not present with themselves? Impossible. They are looking for you to be there. They're looking for you to be present to make them feel better. Because they can't make themselves feel better. They can't make you feel better because of it. Impossible. You can do it for them because you can focus on yourself. You can make yourself feel good. You can make yourself healthy, strong, 
capable. You can protect, provide, take care. You can do it all. And bro, I would love nothing more if the world was not the way it is and people was better because I'm a giving person. But being a giving person today, if you're not aware, it can, it can come back to bite you real bad. It can sting you real bad because you can do so much for people, bro, and it meant nothing at the end of the day because they sucked it up like a black hole. None of it ever mattered because that's the type of people they are. I have no problem doing things for people as long as they appreciate it and it sticks with them. Because if you're feeding into black holes, it meant nothing to them, bro, because they're so empty. No matter how much you did for them, bro, it did not matter. This is why I'm saying, being alone today is a solution for many. And you should roll that way, you should rock that way until others come into your path and give you a damn good reason for you to step out of yours to even help them out at all or to be a supportive friend, supportive relationship partner onto marriage, kids, family, white picket fence, whatever you wanna, you know, however far you wanna take things. But everyone needs solid people in their life if you're gonna have people in your life at all. But first thing is first, make sure you're solid. And that's all I got to say in this video. So we'll be back with the next. God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.